Welcome to Stock Ups, uh, Session 4 of Q&A. And today's question, we'll start again with uh, question number one uh, pertaining to OSHA. And we have a question from TT from uh, Arizona. And his question is on OSHA. Uh, my question pertains to GFCI protection. In the plant where I work, we were performing some temporary uh, work, and my supervisor informed me, based upon the conditions of use and the type of work we were doing, that we didn't have to have GFCI protection, but we could provide a, another method of protection. And again, if this is true, uh, whereabouts in OSHA and the NEC uh, could this provision be checked out? Well, the NEC sections, I would recommend you see uh, 590.6 A and B, uh, 250.114, uh, 250.138, uh, and then as well as 406.4 C. Uh, some information also uh, can be provided in uh, 590.6D uh, as in dog. Now, in the OSHA standard, uh, I recommend that you take a look at 1926.404B1 uh, 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 I uh, through uh, 2 I. And then also look at the same section, 1926.404. Uh, uh, B and look at uh, item 3 uh, in A through G to item 3, uh, 3I. Uh, I'd also recommend you look at uh, 1926.32F. Now, uh, what, what your uh, supervisor was telling you may be due to GFCI protect protection not being available in the type of protection that you may uh, need. Uh, you could use the approved grounding method, but you would have to keep a paper trail is the only uh, downside to it. And those sections that I just listed will uh, give you the information you need in detail. I hope these sections will help you understand what your supervisor was trying to relate to you.